it's kind of strange year because of the COVID. So we we submitted to 30 festivals more or less, and we had uh, like half of the festivals are either suspended or online. It's been unlucky because when we finished the film and we started the distribution, it was January. So we had no idea of this coming. Um, so we, we're kind of expecting to wait a little more uh, to answer that question or to see if it works in other festivals through the end of the year and next. But I think, yeah, Biaf is like the festival that has kind of been our hit. It's our best hit. It, it started like two years ago because Jan, Jan Bak is a, he's an arch, architect. And he worked in film just like as a hobby for him, like an, an amateur uh, job besides the, the architectural uh, job, which is his main uh, career. And I met him through my partner uh, because she's an architect as well. So we, we had the connection there. And as I'm a filmmaker and he's like a filmmaker as well, we, we connect very easily from the beginning. And... And I participated in one of his films when I met, like after two or three months after meeting him. And then um, for this film, I, I had this idea and I told him I, I wanted to do it with him. And, and I wanted to kind of resemble the classic cinema uh, in the film because he always does this kind of homage to the classic cinema, cinema films. In, in all of his films, you can see uh, there is still the, the way of doing cinema that was like 50, 60 years ago. And, and I tried to adapt to, to this style because uh, I, I wanted to, to pay this homage to the classic cinema and to the film noir. And I thought the best way to do it was uh, working together with Jan because he's kind of a, a big experience cinema lover and he's kind of a, a, a cinema book. So... Um, when I contacted him to, to do the film, he, he instantly um, said that we had to do it with Hort, the director of photography, because he is the, like, the, the best tandem, the best couple to, to make this kind of classic look uh, to the film. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what we did. Yes, that's, that's uh, like a very interesting uh, thing I like to do if, if you watch all of my films I, 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 I did before like a, a classic cinema approach in one of my films myself like uh, five years ago so this time uh, I want and in, in that film I also kind of add this this uh, humor comedy uh, approach so you have the mix and here I wanted to do the same and that uh, that uh, play well with with Jan because he's uh, kind of very humoristic as well. He has this the, like a big sense of humor and he always wants to um, to play also the the mix between the two genres. So that was an easy decision, and and we we chose like two actors. They are big comedy comedian actors here in Catalonia, and we chose uh, them to play these roles to add more comedy to the, to the film because it's like a big drama. It's kind of a big family drama and, and uh, like the three main characters are always kind of in, in the conflict. And we, we saw it necessary to break from this drama uh, at some point with, with humor. That's why we added kind of a, the, like a sub plot I was a bit concerned because I was kind of in the middle of their relationship because, as you say, they have been working together since a long time ago. And, and my experience in cinema is more modern. So I, I like all my references and, and the, the films I've seen as a kid are more of my period than the classic period. But it's true that um, in the last six, seven years, I, I've seen like all the classics and I've seen a lot of of this period um, classic cinema because I love it and I think it's gone and it should never have been gone because uh, it's like we can learn still a lot from watching films from, from that period. And, and we, we have talked with Jan and Horst a lot of times like how sad it is that this kind of cinema is gone and how bad it is now, for example, that there are no comedies. Like if you see, 
if you go to a film festival, uh, mainly of short films, like 90% of the films where it's gonna are gonna be dramas or thrillers or horror, but there are no comedies. It's like comedies are gone from cinema, at least in the independent world. And and we like we can always, we always connect and click on all of those topics. So I knew we were on the same page and it, it was going to be easy uh, to align of the way of thinking. And I, I gave them space. I was directing, but I knew this kind of film, I needed their help and their vision. So I, I let their space to kind of um, uh, bring me to, to new walls that uh, I couldn't get by myself. So it was a good trio. It was a good trio because Jan, Jan and I were like um, in the shooting. He was more silent. He was like not um, participating all the time because he is always he's more calm. But always that he had kind of a commentary or, or something important. He approached it to me and he, he told me and and I could change uh, some things from his comments on, on the same shooting so that I think was very interesting yeah mainly the, the ending because we had like several endings during the process and um, finally we decided to go with the irony because the ending uh, it's kind of open but as you, as you say everything is solved uh, and we play with the irony like with the cat dead and, and that's the humor touch uh, that we put at the end as, and it's consistent with the whole film because we had this humor uh, all the time. So I, I, we thought that was the, the, the best ending for the, for the drama. But yeah, it, for me, it was important to, to kind of solve uh, the, whole, the whole plot because that's one of the characteristics of the film noir. Mm -hmm. It's that usually you solve like the, the main plot uh, of the film and it, 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 we, we wanted like a bit of open ending but uh, that solving the, the conflicts and and also we wanted to to finish with like the main lady the main old lady because she's um she's the the, the true protagonist and she she's not the, the 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 character that is more more time on on screen, but she is the true protagonist. We always had that clear in mind that she was going to be the the main character. Yes, that that was because uh, it's true that when you study film noir, you always see that the, like the characters with more power and strength are always men, and you have the the femme fatale that it's always a woman, but it, it's kind of this kind of uh, role mm -hmm. for women. The rest is kind of very little appearances. And we wanted to change that. That was kind of a conscious decision that we wanted to, to, do, to do so. And, and not, not just for the femme fatale, because uh, like when you have like the big titles of film like Laura or, or Gilla, and we wanted that to have this femme fatale role, but also other other uh, female characters uh, apart from that. So we kind of fulfill the screen with, with women. Yes, we had long conversations with Horse and, and Jan uh, to get that sense, uh, as you're saying, like they're trapped in the house because all the film happens in, in the house, in the same house. So one of my concerns was kind of um, being repetitive on shots and on framing because you're always on the same location. So we had a lot of thinking on how to frame and how to uh, add textures and add information with the lighting. We had kind of uh, as big references, we had Laura uh, and Double Indemnity of the classic period, which had, am had amazing lighting and framing. And, and we played with... Um, uh, with the windows and, and shadows and reflections uh, a lot because it's true I, I, t I kind of um, wanted more open shots because I it, it's the way I go uh, even if I don't want to like instinctively and horse horse kind of uh, guide me to more uh, close-ups and more kind of uh, aesthetic and and closer shots so we kind of had both 
uh, both minds. Me myself going more for the wide, and 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 he wanted more for the for the closets. And I think we had kind of a good mix at the end. Not really, because uh, it's from a friend of of Jan the house, and and from the beginning when I told him the the story, he he already just said, okay, we have to film in this house because. Uh, mainly because of the stairs. The stairs uh, in film noir and in our story were very important um, to add this sense of, of thriller, of suspense, of like going to a place and going down. And, and we wanted to put the, the old lady kind of uh, in the highest um, floor. Like she is always up in the stairs and like everything happens below her as she wasn't aware of what is happening because she's kind of in, in another floor, but she is aware of. And, and we wanted to play with this kind of different floors with the stairs. And that's why we also added the element of the cat because mm -hmm. that we have the cat that we can, we are seeing like from once in a while. And the cat is, is kind of the old lady uh, having eyes in the, in the house. That's why we put the, the cat and the cat is, is always, uh, everywhere is it's like uh in the first floor in the second floor and she, you can see the cat going through the stairs and he's he's always very quick and that's why we added this element to play with like the location and the the two walls upstairs and downstairs yeah <laughs> behave well because he, he was very chill and and easy going with people so he he was kind of used to have a lot of people around and, and he, he was just quiet, which is the most important thing at the end for an animal. Yes, uh, with the music, we, <clears throat> we had the, um, the, the intention of playing Mar Maria Callas songs like through the film. And, and you, you can see at the beginning and at the ending. Um, at, at the beginning, the idea was to use only Maria Callas songs, but then I, I thought that was maybe taking too much uh, credit for her, and I, I and, and it was difficult to adapt. Like like with the music, what you do is is just um, portraying emotions and and telling, uh, helping people what to feel, and that's very difficult to do taking a a, a song that is not written and is not played by your film because you're not gonna have the timing correctly and the rhythm correctly. That's why it's always better to compose your own music. And I, um, I said that to Jean and that's what we did at the end, like mixing uh, classic songs with uh, our own music. And, and if you see like the, the film is full of, of music, you have music all the time. That was one of our decisions like to to play with music almost all the time. So you have this constant uh, emotional help uh, with you that plays with, uh, with the love scenes, with the hate scenes, with the thriller or, or suspense. It's all the time. We, we, uh, the music was composed by Oscar Roig, uh, who is kind of a big uh, composer here in, in Catalonia. He has some Goya awards and Gaudí awards, which are the Academy Awards in Catalonia and, and in Spain. And he has like a, a big studio at his house and, and uh, he's a friend of Jan from a long time ago. He has participated in his films uh, at least five or six times. So it was easy to convince him. And, and he has the same understanding of cinema uh, that the music is a key element and it needs kind of a, a, a unique presence uh, to be all the time uh, playing. If, if you see on the classic period, the music was more, much more present than nowadays. Nowadays, probably it's the, the composers doesn't have this massive impact on the films as before. So we wanted, um, we wanted to, to recover this, to, to play the music as one of the, uh, as a character, one of the key elements. I'm glad you say that because that was one of my fears that to be intrusive because it, it's all the time and you have Maria Cala songs, you have our, our music and you have the radio. We play with the radio as well mm -hmm. uh, and music on the radio. So we, it's kind of all the time there, but I think as, I've, as we decided to be all the time there and we play it well and we plan it, I think it works because it's, there is a lot of thinking behind. 
Thank you. <laughs> yes, I think I think because uh, it's also on the characters. It's not just the story or or the plot. It's it's the location. It's the music. It's the the cinema language. The characters. You have this kind of um, different layers, as you say. And mm -hmm. I think maybe you don't see something in the first uh, view, and then when you rewatch it, you kind of pay attention to different to different things. It's true. That it's 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 like. Uh, almost 20 minutes so it's a kind of a long short film nowadays it's that like uh, it's more about eight nine ten minute short films uh what people do and here we we went a bit longer that was also kind of a bit a bit of fear uh, for festivals because a lot of festivals if you are more than 15 it's like oh that's too much and it's it's difficult to program mm -hmm. but but i thought that was uh, what we needed for the story Thanks to this film, when, when, I, when I did this film, I, um, after like a month of doing the film, I started uh, a newspaper a series of articles talking about classic films and the importance of knowing and watching the classic films to do cinema today. For me, one of the, the goals of the film, me being like a young filmmaker doing this kind of film is, is telling people that that to to rewatch or rediscover the classics and not not to forget about the the classic films because they are still important and they they must not be for, um, forbidden because it's it's what guides us and uh, until today and I think we have lost a lot of cinematic um, a cinematic language or cinematic uh, styles that are being gone and and we should kind of rethought or rediscover all of that because it's it's there and it's it's it it could add a lot to the today's cinema it's true that it's been very difficult we were stopped of shooting for four months and i use uh, those four first months of the pandemic to to write a lot and i have four scripts written and ready to shoot and i have to find now the producers and the money and and to move it into the production world which uh, which is difficult and, and nowadays even more with the pandemic it's it's going to be hard to to find and uh, besides that doing a, a, a smaller project uh, which is similar to a short film which is about um, adapting real photograph um, for example you have a photograph uh, and, and the idea is to bring this photograph to life No, thank you, Jen. That's uh, it's always good to talk with, uh, about cinema and, and your films. It's the first time we I discovered uh, your festival, and mm -hmm. and I won't forget it. So uh, every year I'm gonna try. If I have a film, I'm gonna try uh, submitting the film. And and this year it's a bad year to go to the festival because mm -hmm. that that was our intention at, at the beginning to to be in your festival because Jan has been there. But, uh, I hope like we can come uh, in a different year. <laughs>